In today's video, we're going to be taking our spirit hosts from this to this. Let's get started and get these guys painted. Okay, so we're going to do a quick and dirty version of the spirit hosts. They're really spindly and painting them um, with a brush would be kind of a pain. So what we're going to be using is we're going to use our airbrush. Um, this is going to be, this is our first battle line unit for our army um, since we've finished our, all of our heroes of our army. We can start on these guys. So we get our little airbrush, our thinner, and our little dirty cloth that we can put down in our lap. Uh, we're running six of these in our army, uh, but we're only going to paint one for the video. Um, and then we'll get through this. It's going to be pretty cool. I have, I have a good idea for them, and I think it's going to turn out good actually on them. So, first of all, let me get some cleaner here because the front of my airbrush is a little um, messed up here. It has a bunch of paint caked on it. Cleaning airbrushes is not fun. I'll just throw that out there for everybody who paints currently or wants to get into painting. It gives you some cool, re good results, but my God, it's a lot of work. A lot of upkeep and cleaning to make it. God, there's still so much on there. It's not like I'm, <laughs> I clean it after every time I use it. It's not like I'm just like leaving it in there. Okay, so let's test our brush really quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with like an undercoat of the whole model, of most of the model, we'll leave some of the white with our deep sky blue. So we'll put that in our airbrush. Don't need a lot, um, especially since we have a smaller needle in here, it's going to be putting out. I did not realize that this was over here. Let's move my mic really quick. There we go. So we're gonna move our in there. So you want it nice and thin, so it sprays easier. Let me see a little. spray and grab our model and then just start spraying it on try our best to leave some of the tips as uh, white as possible especially towards the bottom of the of the model you want to do a good job on the back here getting these little spots because you can forget about them pretty easy. Get underneath here too. Your arms. I'm moving this sometimes because it like kind of clogs so like sometimes it only sprays if I'm doing it like that. Just try my best here guys. <laughs> see because you see oh there you go. that's coming out. So go like that. Get some good coverage on there. Alright. So that does it for the 
blue, and you can see we, we put way too much in there. We'll dump it out, and then just really quick wipe the inside of this. Okay. And then we'll take our blue violet. Put some in the pot. Let me thin it. Should be about, it's about 50-50, but it's a little bit more than that. Um, a little bit more thinner to paint ratio. Okay. Now we're kind of just going to hit for the tops of these guys with the purple. Let's make sure the purple comes out first. Sometimes you just gotta bubble it, cover the end and shoot air into it to make it help clear the front of it some more and then test out your hand. This will get us a nice transition from color to color. Still leave us with our blues and stuff on the bottoms. So you just dump that. And quickly clean out your airbrush. You could theoretically, I could theoretically do the same thing with my other battle line units. I have chain rasp board. I think I forget what they're called, chain rasp boards. Um, but I have 80 of them to paint. So if you wanted to quickly go through uh, some stuff to paint them, that is an option. Let me just take this and just kind of wipe it in there. And I'll pour it out. Okay, so now we can just get the little details uh, that are left on this guy. So we'll do the seraphim sepia for the skeleton on the floor that these guys are coming out of.
Mm. And we get our metallic for the weapons that they have in their hands. So we go with our gunmetal first for the blade. some weapons in their hands so I get enough paint out sometimes it hardens inside here and you have to get the paint out Or you can just do that. Get our brass. And then just get the, the handles. And then last, we get our military shade for the little headstone that's on the base. And get that, oh no, it's a little ghostly, it's a little ghostly green coverage, like Castle Grey Skull. And you just repeat that five more times, and then you end up with a whole unit of spirit hosts. Um, yeah, this is a quick one today. Um, thanks for watching. As always, um, like, comment, and subscribe new videos every Wednesday and we'll see you on the next one where we'll be painting uh, some more battle line it'll probably be our blade gas um, I'm saving the the horde of 80 models for last because I'm really not looking forward to it <laughs> but yeah so we'll see you next time